I'm Kathleen Eubanks Ming. I'm a family medicine physician from the Kansas City area. I was born and raised here, and I am a Tar Wars presenter. Tar Wars is a program that we present to fourth and fifth graders, and we promote tobacco awareness and to help prevent them from ever starting to use tobacco. Uh, we talk about the dangers of tobacco and how it is in the media always seems to be very glamorous and we talk about the non-glamorous side of tobacco use. I started talking about tobacco use because when I was nine years old my grandfather died of lung cancer. He was a tobacco farmer from North Carolina, and he rolled his own in the fields. Um, I am very passionate about making sure that um, fourth and fifth graders, of which I have a fourth grader this year, <laughs> um, do not have that same thing happen to them in their future. Um, I, we talk about my grandfather, we talk about the tobacco barns, um, talk about how he rolled his own and did not know the dangers. Um, he started smoking when he was age eight and um, died when he was age 60. So we go through um, all the different things in the media. For instance, I was totally unaware until I started presenting that in the movies, that is where the majority of the kiddos will get their exposure to cigarettes. So I started watching movies much more carefully and it was amazing to me the uh, amount of chewing tobacco and cigarette use that was in the movies and we talk about that and what they don't show you. The um, print advertisement, which is not out anymore, but um, it's on the web, they're online, and there, here comes the, the print ad of um, them having a great time with friends and they are um, looking healthy, they're running while they're smoking and <laughs> their teeth are bright white and um, they don't seem to be choking or gagging uh, with that smoke coming out of the cigarette at all. And the kids figure it out pretty quickly that that is really not uh, what happens. They said, no, you choke when you smoke. And um, they may have a smoker in their home. Uh, they may not. Uh, that, that may be out in a public place. They try to eat food and the food doesn't taste as good when there's smoke right next to you. Um, they also will pick up pretty quickly on um, monkey breath. When they're, you're in fourth and fifth grade, monkey breath is a pretty big deal. So <laughs> they talk about how the breath doesn't smell good and their clothes don't smell good and how there is tar underneath their fingernails. And no matter how hard you may scrub, that tar is still going to be there. And those things when you're in fourth and fifth grade are very unappealing. Then you talk about money with fourth and fifth graders. It's amazing how they pick up on how much a pack of cigarettes will cost. We use five dollars a pack as a rough estimate for them because that's easy math. And then they start doing the math to figure out how much that really will cost in the long run. So we do it as a week, as a month, in a year, and then we do 35 years. They can buy a lot of PS3 games in 35 years for the amount that it would cost them <laughs> to smoke a pack of cigarettes a day. As a family physician and as an adult who um, goes and provides education for youth, they teach me. Um, I come to teach them, but they teach me. Um, they are more educated often sometimes than um, you would believe them to be. This is um, our future. If they have the education now and they advocate even to the people, their parents, their grandparents, um, their families um, on the dangers of tobacco use, and how addictive it is. If we can help with prevention and start with prevention, then I think it's extremely important for a youth movement to come and participate in a conference. I would hope that it would help me facilitate with my patients um, that are already smoking or for patients that um, are just started smoking or who even haven't started smoking, ways to prevent them um, ways to help them quit, uh, ways to bring that up in conversation, um, things that will apply to their everyday life um, and, and how to do that. As I was talking about with the youth, um, with healthy lifestyle component of, of smoking and prevention, 
Um, it's very difficult to go out and run a half marathon when you're smoking a cigarette. Um, it is much better than picking up a cigarette. It's much better to get out there and walk around the block or go and spend some time walking with your family or go out there and take that jogging stroller instead of picking up the cigarette and put your kiddo in the jogging stroller and go out there and jog. Uh, it fits with healthy lifestyles, healthy living, and um, if we can integrate ways into our life to do that instead of smoking, and you give them an alternative, give them something else to do besides pick up that cigarette and smoke.